G'day guys, it's Mark here. Uh, just going to do a quick video on uh, hooking up a trailer uh, and I'm going to show you guys how I made my trailer hooks which makes it a lot quicker and easier than uh, using the traditional D or bow shackle to hook up your trailer. So yeah, stay tuned. So this is a standard trailer setup. I've got a 12 point adjustable uh, trailer tow ball. <coughs> which makes it a lot easier for hooking up different types of trailers. I've got this set uh, at the right height for my excavator trailer, which is uh, this one here. It's an aluminium trailer. It's quite light. Now, these hooks, I made these. I've got the parts from Bunnings. I'll let you know how much it cost at the end of the video. Can't remember at the top of my head. So I've got this shackle here that clips together. I've got the two rated chain links, which is, I think that's eight mil chain. And then I've got a hook on the end with a clip so it's just a clevis hook with a clip so that the chain can't come out so i'll show you how quickly quick and easy it is to hook up the trailer This is the chain connector that I use for my setup. This uh, particular piece is approximately $5 and I also had a cleavers hook. Now this cleavers hook is about $7 from Bunnings so the total cost for both of them would be approximately $25. Okay so first things first you're gonna have your brake on your trailer so you're gonna to want to pull the brake off, maneuver the trailer and lift it up two people if necessary, or use your dolly wheel if it's really heavy. Slide it onto the tow ball. Once you're on the tow ball, you've got to unclip this release, which will lock the trailer to the tow ball. Next, you get your chain. I don't have any shackles on mine because I don't need them because I've got the hooks. Push them onto the hooks, just like so. Brakes off. Pull your dolly wheel off. You don't want to drive off with that on. And get your brake controller and lights and plug that in. It's as simple as that. So, rated hooks cross the chains over each other. So, the reason why you do that is if the trailer comes off for whatever reason, it's going to fall onto these chains here. That's what they're there to do. So, they're there to actually support the trailer in case of emergency. And that's it. So I know this was a quick video. Uh, just wanted to run through those few little points like crossing the chains over, how I use the hooks uh, instead of a shackle, makes it a lot quicker. And you can see how quick and easy it is to hook up the trailer. Um, once you get a bit of a rhythm going and you know, you know exactly what you're doing and you've done it before. So practice makes perfect. Give it a go at home. Um, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments section. And thanks for watching. See ya.